the trophy and you are sure enough to get the trophy on behalf of Mr. Richard Morris, the winning owner of Battle Ring. You're sure enough here now. And now a presentation for the winning jockey. First winner in 2004 and today our 153rd career win. Last ever ride and it's a winner. Big round of applause for Jackie Coward. <laughs> Ralphie, so we'll just have a, a quick oh, chat with Jackie, because oh. she's very chatty. <laughs> just about her, her illustrious career, a painful career, and she, she's been your career champion for at least seven times, it could be more. Jackie, many congratulations with your winner this afternoon, and your career. You have definitely retired. I'm celebrating very selfish. Um, yeah, so I think the trouble is that it's the end of the season now for everyone, so it's just like, well, it's the end of the season, of course I'm just going to finish it. But I definitely know when it comes to December, January, um, I'm trying to find Joffy for horse to go well at home, I'm thinking, oh my, God, I want to be riding these! <laughs> but you're not going to be just sitting watching the tail, like, oh my, yeah. No, definitely not, um, I'm definitely still have poison in training, um, but I'm actually at the moment on with applying to my full training plan. So, if anyone wants any more, come to Jackie's house. Have you got any from, from your writing career, any particular real high points, would you say? Or? Well, that was a brilliant high point. That was the last case coming in on back-to-back -back weekends. And just loves firm ground, obviously. It just feels like I'm on a really, really good walk. And I'm like, oh, so bad. I'm going to hold it. It's just jumping out of the skin. He's definitely giving me a great finish, high point. And you've been through, you've, you've had some pretty nasty injuries, haven't you? But it's, listen, it's all worth it when you have winners like that. Definitely, definitely. Um, but at the same time when I've had, you know, the broken back, the head injuries, the shoulders, and all those places. When people said to me, um, oh, you've retired on that, you know, and they're like, well, surely you can't, you can't come back. And I'm like, well, I want to finish. Like, when I want to finish, not while my body breaks. So, um, I just obviously, luckily, it's just good. I've had a really good season this year, because as we all know, you have ups and downs, and that breaks for you, and that's why we all love it. Um, but I think it was my granddad, really. My dad always wanted to give up, because he's just really soft. Um, my mother, whatever I do, she'll back me. She's brilliant. If I want to stop, she wants to stop, if I want to go, she'll let me keep going. But my granddad actually said to me, um, when I was near my husband's certificate of winner, he said, look Jack, promise you won't take a pull. I was like, right. And he said, you're just going to keep taking them pulls, and if you keep taking the pulls you've had, you're not going to get them, and you might not be able to go hunting, and you won't be able to ride out. I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to go hunting. Sure. And I really thought that, I thought it's bad if I could never go hunting again. So it's a bit like, all point pointing hunting is like, which one do I prefer? Well, obviously, I'm not going to go, hopefully I'll be hunting when I'm 80 years old, but I definitely don't want to be hunting when I'm 80 years old. So it's just made me think about life, and so, yeah, this is kind of grand. Made me promise I'll retire! <laughs> I've got a chance to see you riding, uh, race driving once again just next Sunday. Oh yes, all come to Kelso next Sunday. Um, if there's an injured jockey spur charity race, and it's, it's quite fitting really because I was going to do it two months ago before I even thought about retiring. And so that's probably going to be my last ever ride. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a massive round of applause. Jackie, thank you very much. Many congratulations. And good luck. Boys, if it wasn't for you guys here today, pay me £10, to join the pound, get in here. We want to still be doing it, and it's got to keep supporting the hunt, then we can keep coming one point and then coming back. Thank you.